Hey, it's Joe. Today we're going to take a look at how to configure Selenium 2.0 WebDriver to work with Visual Studio and Internet Explorer. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Selenium homepage, which is seleniumhq.org, and you want to go to the download section. Under download, we're going to find the Selenium client drivers. Because we're using Visual Studio, we're going to use C Sharp. So we click on the download link. Once you're done downloading the Selenium.net DLLs, you also want to download the Internet Explorer driver server. Okay. So once you have both the DLLs and the server downloaded, you just want to extract the zip files. And once you extract the zip files, uh, all the files then should be local on your machines. Next, we're going to start up Visual Studio. And in Visual Studio, I'm just going to create a new project. And I'm just going to create a console application. And I'm going to call it uh, My Selenium. Okay, cool. Once you have your project open, we're just going to want to add the references to the Selenium DLLs that we just downloaded. So you want to go to Project, Add References, go to Browse, and I'm going to browse to my folder. And I'm using .NET 4.0, so I'm going to the .NET 4.0, and I'm just going to add all these DLLs to my project. So you also just want to double check to make sure that your project is set to use the expected .NET that you're using. So I'm just going to go to my project properties. And because I'm using the 4.0 DLLs, I'm just going to change my .NET framework to 4. Great, so now Visual Studio is set up to use the Selenium.dll. Let's just create a quick script that starts a web page and verifies a web element. So I'm going to add some namespaces for Selenium. Because we're using Internet Explorer, I'm going to point to the IE namespace. I'm also going to be using the support namespace. So next I'm going to create an instance of the Selenium driver. So I'm going to type in iWebDriver. New. I'm going to select Internet Explorer driver. And so now I'm going to use the navigate go to URL method of the driver. I'm just going to navigate to a small little web app I created for demo purposes. Now, if this was Firefox, uh, you wouldn't have to do anything else. This would work. But because you're using Internet Explorer, you also need to invoke the IE driver server. So I'm going to pass the value of the path to my IE driver server in the Internet Explorer driver call. So I'm just going to type in the path to my IE driver server. Cool. So let's just run it and make sure that it's able to open up IE and navigate to my website. Awesome, so it worked. It started Internet Explorer and navigated to my website. So what I also want to do is I just want to verify that I'm able to interact with a field on my website. So another tool you're going to want to use if you're developing against Internet Explorer is the IE Developer Toolbar. And so you just want to Google Internet Explorer Developer Toolbar and it'll bring you to Microsoft's uh, website where you can download the IE Dev Toolbar setup. So once you have the Internet Explorer Dev Toolbar integrated in IE, you can then use it to help you identify different fields on your web page. So what I'm going to do here is I just want to point to my first drop-down box and I'm going to click on attributes and I'm going to get the ID of this drop-down. So the ID is tools. So let's go back to Visual Studio. So I want to use the find element method of the driver. So I'm going to type in, type in iWebElement. I'm going to select the find elements method.
and I want to identify the element by its ID. So I'm going to select by dot ID. So I'm just going to enter the value that I found using the Internet Explorer dev toolbar. So I'm going to type in tools. So now what I want to do is I just want to select a value. So I'm going to do a send keys. So I'm going to type in my field. I'm going to select send keys. And I'm going to type in the value QTP 10. Alright, awesome. Let's run it, see what happens. Cool. So you can see it navigated to my website and it selected a value from that drop down. So that's how you configure Selenium 2.0 WebDriver to work in Visual Studio with Internet Explorer. Hope it helps.